Hey you guys and welcome back to another edition of Poppin' with Mama Sue. Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, and leaving a con comment. Today you guys in the kitchen, I'm making brown gravy. Your beef in, your roast. You guys, you can also use this gravy to put over your rice. Um, you can also use this gravy if you wanna smother some chicken. You guys, like I said, this, this gravy is very versatile. You can use it for just about anything that you want to put on your dinner table as a side. So, let's begin. You guys, it's pretty simple. It's nothing hard. And I'm going to show you how simple it is. Alright, you guys. So, we are getting started. You are going to first start warming your pot on a low to medium heat. Preferably more on the lower side. If you're using an electric stove, you're going to use maybe the number three, between three and four. And then if you use the gas stove, you know, of course, turn your eye down just a little bit low. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add in our butter. Because we're going to make a roux. A roux is basically the basis to just about anything soup wise, gravy wise. So we're going to let this butter melt on down before we add in our flour. So now we're going to add in our flour a little bit at a time just to reduce any chances of lumps. And you guys, that was about a half a stick of butter, salted butter. And don't worry about it getting thick. You can see it's getting thick. That's the basis of it. And we want to keep doing this until it gets to a peanut butter color. And that's how we know that we're making brown gravy. If you want white gravy, then you would do the same method, but you wouldn't let it cook until it looks like a peanut butter color. You would get it when it's like the beginning stages of peanut butter, not quite dark. You want it to be white. And that's when you add in your milk and all your other seasonings that you want to put into your white gravy. So you get all of that stirred in nice and well. And keep stirring it. Don't let it sit. Just keep stirring it. It's going to turn. You see the color is turning. Add in our better than bouillon chicken flavoring. And it's getting nice and thick. That's so starting off with one and a half cups of water. A little at a time. And stir because all of this is reducing lumps. Don't want no lumpy gravy. Make sure you keep a consistent stir. That's amazing. See, no lumps. That's what you want, that's what you're looking for. So at this point, we're gonna tag team between the water and the browning. So I'm gonna add in my browning. See, I'm used to doing this kind of fast, but I'm taking my time because I wanna show you all, my people, how to make this gravy. Instant browning doesn't really add any flavor to your gravy, but it helps with the coloring. So you have that nice, rich gravy, a nice, rich color. That's just beautiful right there. So that's just water in. So that's one and a half cups of water that I use. But of course, you would double your this recipe for um, a bigger batch or whatever it is that you're preparing. To get it to a low boil, that's going to help activate the flour, the roux and it would start thickening up. I'm going to add in my seasoning, which is my garlic powder, onion powder, coriander, my black pepper, and my seasoning salt. Give it a little stir. You guys, you see, this is a low boil. That's what you're looking for. And that's going to activate and boil out the flour flavor. Okay? I think I want it just a little bit thicker. Just a little. So here's the method how to do that. You want your gravy to be a little bit thicker because it's a little bit thin, then you like it. So guess what? In this bowl, you're going to add in a teaspoon of flour, and then you're going to use about a half a teaspoon of water. And this is what you call a cold roux, okay? A cold roux. So I'm going to add this into my gravy to thicken it up just a little bit more the way I desire it to be. And you just add it in just like that. You're going to slowly see it begin to thicken up just a little bit more. Always use your spoon like so. You see that? That's a good consistency. Another tip. Look at the back of your spoon. If you can do your gravy just like that and it coats the back of your spoon, 
You have a good consistency and a safe and blessed holiday. And I'll see you on the next episode. Go keep God first in all that you do. And remember that amputees can cook too. See ya. <laughs>